These metals are obviously clearly very, very reactive. They react with the air, they react with water. So how can we find them? Well, we can find them in various minerals. This is the mineral where we get our sodium from. This is sodium chloride. Okay? And, of course, we can find sodium chloride. Well, where do we find sodium chloride? Salt. And where do we find lots of salt? In the sea, yes. And this is a picture of me. I was lucky enough to be invited to give a lecture in Israel. So here I am not giving the lecture in Israel. I'm <laughs> floating on the Dead Sea. But of course, it's very easy to float on the Dead Sea because it's so, uh, so dense with all the salt water in there. But putting the lecture together, I thought, well, OK, everyone knows about sodium chloride, and it's uh, very, very dense, and it's easy for people to float on it. But what would it be like if the sea was made of cesium chloride instead? Okay. Now, I thought it'd be really nice to actually float on the surface of some cesium chloride. Uh, and we were looking into getting a nice big tank full of cesium chloride for me to float on top of. But unfortunately, some American lawyers said that wasn't a good idea. And they stopped us, which is a bit of a shame, really. So instead, I'm going to show you something else. Uh, and this is a block of metal. This is solid metal. It really is. I mean, it, it weighs eight kilos. And it's a block of magnesium. Magnesium sinks, not surprisingly, in water. It sinks in seawater. OK, it would sink in the Dead Sea. It's quite dense. But if the sea was made of cesium chloride instead of sodium chloride, well, see how long it takes to sink in the cesium chloride. So here I'm going to drop it in. I'm going to release it now. And you watch how long it takes to get to the bottom. It doesn't. It floats. OK, so this is a, an eight kilo block, solid block of metal, floating on uh, cesium salt dissolved in water. OK, this solution here, well, could this have any uses? Indeed, it does. This was supplied by a company who sell it to um, oil companies. And they use it in the drilling process. They pump down some cesium salts, and this helps uh, little particles of rock come to the surface uh, more easily because, of course, it's so dense. But it's an environmentally friendly solution. It, it isn't poisonous. Um, it would be relatively safe to float in it, uh, honest. <laughs> but, um, yep, so there we are. Even this has a use, which is fantastic. Ugh. So, how do we get our cesium then? This also comes as a mineral. And I have some cesium mineral here. This is polocyte. This is the mineral containing cesium.